Shaka box, where we bring the latest in reggae, dance all and of course, African music. And today, my brethren is in the house, Michael Fabulous. Fabulous, how are you doing, my brethren? Yeah, man, me die, man, me die, man. Sing, 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 sing. I'm happy to see you, man. I'm happy to have you right here on the show. Yeah, and I'm happy to be here. You don't know. Sing, sing, sing. Are you coming from Jamaica or are you coming from America? I'm coming from Jamaica to America. All right. Me and my brother. Shy, we're there. Sing, 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 sing. All right, man. So nice to have you. Nice, 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 nice time to have you. So the last time you were in Jamaica, the last time you came through to Africa, what was the situation of Jamaica like? Oh, it was sunny. <laughs> sunny? Oh. Yeah, the vibes oh. was flowing musically. Ah, wow. It was a good vibration, you know. Yeah, man. Sing, sing. Yeah, man, me done a White River to and all of them things. Everybody mm -hmm. happy. White River. Yeah. All right. You have a tune called White River. We're going to be sampling it soon. Yeah. In the interim, who is the next brother you have here? That's my brother and manager, jo Shai, Davy and Clark. Sing. So you came together from Jamaica? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord God yeah, have well, mercy. Well, I'm in the States, but he's originally in Jamaica, but, you know, connection to America then Ghana beautiful nice one all right so tell me is it true that the Chinese is taking over Jamaica we just start about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah me I tell you what a trouble yeah, whoa man. me I tell you but we can't stand up and let that happen just like that saying yeah. what the situation like run me through it well Chinese here China well there's original Chinese yeah in Jamaica original where we know for a long time but then there's this yeah. new crop and we would have called it, say, it's like a replacement chip. Mm. As soon as a black man goes, there's a Chinese man to take your place. Mm. And then they're moving smaller into smaller communities. And they are getting the black ladies and we can't get no Chinese ladies. Lord God have mercy. So you want some Chinese ladies too? Not really, but it's hard mm. to see. The Chinese man with a black woman and I can't, my, my son or my brother or my can't get a Chinese woman how comes you get a black woman mm. and the black man can't go in the Chinese family mm. what is it like is it like the Chinese do not really like Jamaican people or just black people in general what is it well I couldn't I, I would I don't yeah, know if it's yeah. like or not like I, I know it's infiltration of um, wealth and resources, resources. Mm. that's very important and Sometimes, if the thief see that he's have an opportunity, he's gonna go steal, right? Mm, yeah. Mm. And then, and then you have to remember that the government also allow it as well too, because for you to have um, Chinese coming into the country and being able to give them all these concessions, and you have your own people in the country can't even get even a dime. A you dime. have to get certain things accomplished. Oh, wow. Like you, you, we, we're from a parish called Saint Mary, and my dad, you know, our dad lives up in a place called. Gettystown and mm -hmm. for me driving up there one day and going through this little turn and I see a, a Chinese grocery store and I said to my brother, brother when this open up? Mm -hmm. yeah, because I wouldn't expect week. to yeah. see a Chinese man find himself all the way in the yeah. mountains right, right, to open yeah. up a wholesale but you see the infiltration is happening from a small scale to even the, the tiny communities and see, the community see. commercialized zone. To see, right see. now in Jamaica we have um, the government tourism minister just approved a plan where I guess a Chinese developer is going to build a huge mall wow. in Antigua Bay. Oh, wow. And, and, yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's going to maybe bring some jobs to the, to the Caribbean. Yeah, but, but what it's not price? Gonna, yeah. um, the, does the people get good pay? Yeah, that's See. the key. You know, and you know, will, 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 will the, 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 your life, your standard of living change because you're going to cater to a high end. You know, people that don't look like us that don't have a million US in their pocket. You understand what I'm saying? Mm, so, mm. For, for you to create this mall, yes, you're, you're going to offer some jobs, but who's really going to benefit? You know, mm. that money don't really stay in Jamaica. Mm. Chinese come, they build, they take, and they bring it back to China. Mm. 
Now, fabulous, tell me this. Last week we had a Jamaican MP right here in the house and we had a very beautiful conversation. Angela Beck Brown was right here and I did put the same question before her. I asked her, is China taking over Jamaica? She said, no, never. But it's just a few Chinese people doing business. Well, you have brought us to speed on that. But tell me, I asked her the same question and she gave me an answer. I'm going to put the same question to you. Why do we have a lot of Jamaican men who have so many children all over and they are not really responsible for the children? What's the problem? Yeah, well, it, it's, everything is a psychological games, game still playing on the black man, you know. Mm. Because if you take away the industries and you take away the jobs and the black man don't have a job, mm. how is he going to feed his family? Mm. You know, so all of that is an infiltration. Because I know originally the black man always take care of him kids. But if he doesn't have anything, some will go steal to to take care of the kids. Some disregard, disregard and just drink and smoke and go. No, but it's surprising because Jamaica is a black island. It's the same black people. Yeah, but you the, say yeah. woodland and water. And, yeah. and, and I have songs which I sing about. Right now in Jamaica, there's, there's falls and re beaches where we can... If you don't have no money, you can't go in. Mm. And we are old land, water. But you still got to pay to go to the beaches. Mm. Is that right? Is that mismanagement in Jamaica in terms of politicians and all yeah, that? Yeah, it's politics. And it's, it's, it's just that um, certain people ain't supposed to be on the front line. Yeah, we look at something as simple mm. as... Look at something as simple as recently. Mm. The Jamaican parliament just uh, uh, tried to approve a budget where there's like a 200% increase in the salary of these politicians when you have civil servants that they didn't they, they were fine to them for over years just to give them an increase and when they did increase it wow. they taxed them where they come like they never made anything hmm. so the, 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 there is a corruption from top level down until you you, you rectify that you know i always look at a, a, a society like singapore you know it's, it's an asian society but you look hmm. at that and see how hmm. they eradicated you know the corruption from see. top and i think as you know i always said to my brother most black countries in the world, you find that the leaders, they're corrupt. You know, they're corrupt, they, right. Even yeah, if you're yeah, going to yeah. be corrupt, mm. you have to respect. As much as all the Europeans, they, they have their own agenda. You have to respect them. Even if they're corrupt, mm. you see they make the difference for the country. You that see the world. development of their country. Whereas mm. in the blacks, when they're corrupt, you see them sell out everything, natural resources, this, <laughs> that, that. And you leave your, your, your generation it's with nothing. Yes. Kids coming out of college and they all they have is just a call center job. That don't make sense. You have a master's degree, but you're working in a call center. See, so see. These things have to change. For real. Things have to change. All right, so Michael Fabulous, I'm coming to your music now. Now, when we talk about Jamaican artists, we know Cecilia Kalanje, we know Capleton, and we know um, some other such artists. Um, where do you rate yourself in Jamaica? A list artist, B list artist, C list artist, D list artist, or Z list artist? <laughs> I'm on the list from A to Z, you know, because oh, wow. I am one of the artists who help kick the stones and the mockers and the buckles out of popcorn way and a lot of artists, because we've been on the battlefield for a long time. Not yesterday, from Jammies to Tubbies to Bobby Digital, all over Kingston, St. Mary, Pandy Sound Chuck, everywhere. So you, you talk about somebody where we've been there, seen it, get locked out at the studio gate mm. can't go in at the studio no youth have studio just to run in and run out we already clear them back help clear all those back are you saying you bust some artists no i'm not talking about that way mm. i'm talking about you ask me mm. the question what you yes, ask me yes, i'm trying yes. to tell you that mm. we depend on the battlefield long right. time mm. and and clear up the way for clear some artists up the way for all heap of artists all where, right so like a veteran yeah kind of so we are from a to z a word. and god work alphabetically Sin. so have you, have you had a hit song in jamaica yet well i've hit the heart i've never hit the chart a word. yeah i like that fire fire, fire, fire so the man say him hit the heart he never ever hit the chart lord get up mercy the most important thing is to hit the heart yeah we hit the heart uh whoa all right man so we are going to sample one of the songs of uh, um michael fabulous and this one is a thing called african journey Bumble 
God have mercy. This is a big tune. Yeah. Anywhere you sing this in Africa, everybody's going to bubble up and scam to it, yeah, man. man. Trust me. Yeah. Me, me have a brother in a studio and me a record that one, you know. See. I'm going to say, la, 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 And I'm going to say, yo, make it stay in there. I'm going to say, hit, man. I made it three years. This is 3FM. Oh, my God. I love the music. I love the music. So, when was this one released? Um. Last year. Last year, last and, year, and we just did what? the video. We did the video. He, he shoot the video while we hear from yeah, Jamaica. Was, when we came last year, we um we said we wanted to do something different, you know. Right. Pretty much a documentary, but it was like we couldn't get the documentary completed, so the video was the quickest version of highlighting mm. some of the things the West don't really know about Africa, Ghana, Togo, Benin, Nigeria. See, we were able to do a road trip and hit all those oh, countries. Oh wow! So you know, it's a, it's a, it was something that. Yeah, the audio from Jamaica. I came to America, went to my friend's studio, and you know we cut it up real quick. And seen, we figured, seen. you know, we have to put something to this. And the, the journey in Africa was great. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, All right, so my guest in the studio is Michael Fabulous, and is here alongside his manager. And we are slugging it out. We have just about five minutes more to go. Now tell me, Michael Fabulous, are you making money? Sometimes, and then. I'm a businessman too. Mm. So what do you sell? Ganja? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If you have a market, if you have a market I will go. Because I'm, I'm also a farmer. Right? Oh. I have an ID for as a farmer. See. I started my life as a chef mm. and didn't pursue, right? And I'm, I've been singing professionally from 1987. Oh, so you can cook? Yeah, yeah I, I can cook. You I'm stink? an executive chef. Oh, wow. But I haven't pursued a career, but I got the surfer ticket. Uh, so what do you executively cook? Uh, <laughs> anything which is shown at me. Aki and sawfish. Remember, 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 an executive chef doesn't have to cook. Yeah. You just point. The, yes, <laughs> point. <laughs> this is 3FM. That's the point. Michael Fabula. So once in a while you make some money. No, um, well, time. musically. <laughs> from music? From music. Yeah. Um, well, I have a lot of whole songs. Oh. A lot of from 45 comments. So sometimes people will request dub plays. Dub plays, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we, we, we do our whole little tour. If there's Same. no one available to do that, we might go Same. on the road oh. and generate. We know how to generate capital. Oh. We, we do tourism. See. We live in a, I live in a tourist town. Okay. So I have a small guest house. Where, See. You know. So you, you have to get those income coming in. Cause which, which tourist now, town now, Listen, this? now music mm. is not like a mm. couple of years ago where you could sit down by jammies and the sound men are coming and coming and yeah. coming. Yeah. So yeah. now, as a big man, you got to do other stuff. See. To See. Get the family to make game. money. Yeah, to but, make money. But but which which tourist town are you talking about? I'm in talking Jamaica? about Ochi Rios. I'm oh. next to St. Mary. Oh. You should have known St. Mary may come from yes, it. Next for real. door to St. Anne. For real. And St. Anne is the garden parish of See. Jamaica. See. Water See. and everything. So I'm right next to that town. Maybe you're the only Jamaican not doing ganja business. <laughs> you know, you don't like it? <laughs> no. Listen. <laughs> I, 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 
<laughs> I, I was born on a, 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 um, a plantation yeah. for bananas, bananas and coconut. Yeah. And a grandfather who is very strict. We mm. <laughs> can't do those you things. You couldn't do those things. <laughs> you better have been a banana farmer than sin, a ganja sin, farmer. Sin, yeah, sin, so sin, that, sin, was, sin. that was not in the DNA. I, yeah. But I'm not saying I don't squit it out because I still smoke. Oh, you smoke? Yeah. Oh, you smoke? I still smoke, <laughs> but oh, not in Ghana too much. <laughs> <laughs> this is 3FM. Because um, it's a big problem. What do you smoke? I smoke herbs. Oh, herbs. Oh, okay. Ganja. Right. No, no ganja. Oh, everything. Okay. What? All right. You have something for me? Mm. Ganja. <laughs> All right. This is 3FM. <laughs> big up Ghana people. Love one, right? Big up the police, them too, you know. So how's they're the, doing their work. How, how is the Ghana ganja from Jamaican ganja? How, what's the difference? Ah... Uh, <laughs> My brother, talk about that. <laughs> oh, well, we have to talk from the business aspect of it because, you know, at See. the end of the day, um, marijuana is, is, is on a global scale. So, right now, marijuana is legalized in Jamaica, which, right. which, which is a good thing because we've found that years the Rastaman has been persecuted for it. So, growing up in Jamaica and comparing American and Jamaican marijuana or ganja, you can taste the quality is different, you know. Um, you start seeing a little bit more exposure. If you were to compare it to maybe Africa, mm. it's a probably Jamaica is still up there. You know, oh, okay. Because we're right next to America. So if you sneeze in America, it drops in Jamaica. So And they have the natural breeze and everything that makes it work. So I see. I think there's a bigger market in the West, but we're not saying that maybe if Africa don't open up the doors, there's still an opportunity because you look at South Africa, same, where, same, same, where, same, where they same, have legalized same. it or, uh, or decriminalized it and it has made life a lot same. less headache for people. So... You know, I think um, it's something where if, if Africa opens up, because you look at America and see how once that legalized on a federal level, which we think will happen soon, the world will probably have to follow suit. And I think black people on a whole, they're missing out on an opportunity where yeah, yeah, yeah. Other, other, other nations mm -hmm. are, are benefiting from. And, and leaders should open up their eyes and realize that, listen, you're fighting a natural plant. Exactly. You know, we have, they have, we have more potent things that's out there that's killing people. Look in America, you have fentanyl and all those other drugs that killing off you know people so something that can heal you see that the medicine man putting it in his herbs and all that stuff so see. you know it's something that should should, should definitely be placed on a bill to pass mm. and allow people to be free Michael Fablos is interrupting my show with his noisy phone. <laughs> Lord God have mercy. The phone too noisy. I'm sure it's a China phone. Yeah. China phone. <laughs> I never Make too much, much noise. <laughs> but Michael Fablos, I would like to remind you that you are all over the internet, as you can see on the screen here. So whatever you're doing and throwing your hands and all that, the whole world are watch you. Uh, Sing. <laughs> uh, I hope they will play um, Afri Africa, Africa Journey. Journey. Yeah. Video. It's a brand new video. I want to leave it. It's a brand. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Why Africa not? Journey video, yeah. Yeah. We have the biggest TV station right here. I know yeah. that. We'd TV love, 3. Yeah. yeah, we'd love for you guys to show that because I think even being in Ghana and talking to some of the Ghanaians, a lot of them haven't even been to these countries. See. And I think, you know, for our little experience, because we kind of did it the ruffian route, you know, from mm. road to water to land. See. And I think it's a great experience if you can get that opportunity for to real visit man it. So we'll put it on tv for you we don't take nothing from you just yeah, free. Man, free, right. free 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 yeah. free <laughs> all right so fabulous i'm winding up with you i yes. want to thank you so much for coming i'm going to be playing next white river to close it up yeah. but in the interim you tell me what i have been asked you you want to say on oh, radio well michael fabulous was born in saint mary jamaica just mm. like capitan admiral tibet berry salmon and other people I started my musical career professionally from 1987. I've toured um, Europe extensively. I've been to America musically. I've been to um, the Caribbean. I've 1987. Been all over. Seven. Yeah, from 1987. I wasn't born. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been recording from those days until now. I've sparred with Tibet. I've done combination with Capleton. Um, Queen Africa, oh, Little Hero, um, so much power man. It looks like you have, a really, you have a really good relationship with some of these Jamaican artists. You easily get to them. They open the door for you. I've been following for some time now, and I see you with so many different artists, and you seem to have a good vibe. Yeah. What is it about you that they like? They don't close the door in your face and all that. Because um, I'm always consistent, whether if it's on the top or mm. working underground, and these people know when you're 
even if you're not all over, you're working. See. So I get that respect. I'm in Europe. Are you married, like Fabulous? Yes, I'm married to a beautiful woman named Beverly. Oh, and in how Jamaica. Many, and how many children do you well, have? Well, I have two biological, <laughs> but I have a lot of steps. Steps? Yeah. Ah, steps. Ah, well. I have a All lot right. of steps. Two biological yeah. and, 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 and several and steps. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fabulous. And <laughs> <laughs> adapted. And adapted. All right. Yeah. So I would like to say thank you so much for coming on the show. And I thank you too. We appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. I, can up, te- I can tell you that a trillion people have watched you today and listened to you as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. We are big up all. I'm a virgin them in Ghana, Jamaica. All the Jamaican community. Yeah, See. Charming yeah, man. and... Yeah, African enough respect to Ghana. Bencha. Charming yeah, Alicia Bencha yeah. Smith. <laughs> big up Bolt. Big up everybody. All of the massive, you know. Jamaica, America, and Ghana. We love you. We'll be here for a while. For real. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, man. Harry Joe, big up yourself, you know. Respect. Nexus. Michael Pablos. Yeah.